I'm standing here at Pope Army Airfield to provide an overview of one of the Army's most critical projects involving upgrades on this busy airfield. Home to 57,000 military personnel and covering more than 250 square miles, military construction at Fort Bragg is a massive program. Perhaps the most highly visible project at Fort Bragg today is the Pope Army Airfield runway replacement and taxiway upgrades. Uh, it has strategic importance, not just for the 18th Airborne Corps, but for uh, the, the National Command Strategy. It, it encompasses not only the 18th Airborne Corps and the downtrace units of the 82nd Airborne Division, but it also encompasses uh, USASOC, JSOC, and all the other units that, that use this as an outload to include even USAREC with the uh, parachute team. So partnering with USACE to make sure this contract goes uh, according to plan, it has huge implications. This project involves three major efforts replacement of the existing runway in both the north and south taxiways, and the lighting. Obviously, replacing the existing runway first requires demolition of the existing runway. This work is quite a feat considering the DOD criteria for airfields is more stringent than the Federal Aviation Administration criteria. And since it's such a critical asset to national defense, the required runway closure to air traffic is limited to only 120 days. Pope Army Airfield is integral to Fort Bragg as a strategic support area and a power projection platform. The Corps of Engineers Savannah's district is going to be working with us, uh, partnered to build, to replace the airfield from what used to be an asphalt surface to concrete. And what that's going to do is increase the lifespan from 8 to 12 years to up to 50 years. So you can see the, the cost advantages and operational advantages could come for a full generation after work on this airfield. In order to ensure that this project is completed as efficiently as possible to minimize impacts to readiness, we're, we've asked the installation to provide five to ten million dollars in contingency to allow us to seamlessly make changes as they come. It's critical we focus on maintaining good partnerships and communication as we move further into executing the project, especially for the runway itself. They almost temporarily relocate their runway operations to various airfields and airports throughout the region. This involves a great deal of planning and logistics and coordination for numerous temporary support and lease agreements in order to support our partners' operations while the runway is closed. We provide Corps of Engineers support to the Special Operations community on Fort Bragg. This airfield enables them to deploy anywhere in the world whenever called to accomplish any mission that they're assigned. We're working very closely with our sister district down in Savannah to ensure that all the information related to this project is passed seamlessly, transparent, and in real time to make sure that the special operations community is fully aware of the status of this project so they can uh, plan accordingly. Of course, there's a great deal of work that has to occur with Savannah District and our construction contractor before we can close the runway. It will take about six months of preparation to limit the runway closure period to 120 days. One of the key requirements will be identifying analyzing, approving, and stockpiling all the materials for continuous production of concrete. That's no small feat in and of itself. For these reasons and more, we're treating Pope Army Airfield runway and lighting replacement as a mega project. We've established a three-tier governance structure in order to achieve accountability, visibility, shared understanding, and timely decision making. Effective communication and issue resolution are critical at all the appropriate levels. The winner of this contract is RC Construction. The contractor is actually on Pope Army Airfield today doing work, which is advantageous. Our partnerships are critically important. We have scheduled engagements with the primary installation partners regularly at every level from the project manager up to the 18th Airborne Corps commander. A successful project requires we all rely on one another. Maintaining transparency and operational efficiency throughout the entire life of the project but especially throughout the closure of this important airfield's runway. This may not be the largest, but it will very soon be the highest visibility project in the Corps of Engineers with DOD-wide readiness implications. That's one of the reasons why we have to ensure that this project is able to be completed 
on time. Most important will be the runway portion of the project. We're tearing out 40 football fields of existing pavement and Butler's Creek actually runs underneath the airfield. It's almost without a doubt that we will run into differing site conditions and so we need to be ready for that. The period of performance is 120 days. We should expect it to go longer. The Pope Army Airfield Project our stakeholders and our partners are all in good hands with the Army Corps of Engineers. Savannah Strong, Building Strong, SEANs.